let's talk about life. Oh, my name's Tara, by the way. I feel like I'm in a really good spot in life. But, I don't know, for some reason, at the same time, I also feel like I'm missing something. Like, there's a missing piece in my life right now, and I don't know what the piece is. It's like I'm putting together a puzzle, and I'm almost done, almost finished, so close, but I, I can't find the last piece, and I don't know where it is, it just disappeared. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. We'll never really know. Yeah, life has been good. I love my job. I work with kids. I love it. I love my family. I still live at home. I love my sister who I share a room with and I like my room. I like the way it looks. It's very clean and like a good space for my mind. I have a film camera and I've enjoyed taking pictures on that. I've been making videos and I like editing and sometimes I like filming. It depends on the day, but I really do like editing the videos. I've been hanging out with some friends but then at the same time I guess I do feel like I have a lack of friends I guess it's like I have people that I hang out with but I don't hang out with them that much really I don't know I often because I do work long hours at my job I work four 10 hour days so I have three days of the week that I am not at work and so I don't like to overfill those days because I do enjoy having time to myself and time to I don't know feel relaxed in working out and having time with God I don't know I'm just time with my family time to slow down and whatnot so I don't want to overcrowd those days where I'm not at work but I also if I don't do things then I don't end up doing things I don't end up hanging out with people or having much of a social life so I guess I'm just finding the balance between overdoing it and being super busy where I feel tired out but also not under doing it where I have this feeling that I have where I have friends but I'm not hanging out with them or not like investing or being intentional with them and some of the friends that I am closer with don't even live by me like my one friend lives a couple hours away another friend lives in a totally different country I don't know and when people do live farther away or when you don't have that's okay this is what I'm struggling with as a young adult out of high school whatever I don't have things with my friends anymore that bring us together naturally so in high school I was homeschooled but I went to a co-op every single week every Wednesday and I would see like my two good friends there every Wednesday sometimes we'd hang out outside of it but we saw each other at least that day after I graduated high school and well and with COVID COVID has not helped me at all but I don't naturally see them anymore so the one girl I don't really ever talk to anymore nothing happened you know we just naturally are in different spaces the other girl she's still a really good friend of mine but we just don't have things that naturally bring us together so it's hard to be intentional about hanging out because her schedule doesn't line up with my schedule you know when I'm available she's not vice versa and that's how it is with like all my friends I feel like because they're either I do have some friends that are younger than me that are still in high school or other friends that are in college and I'm working so our schedules are different in that way <sighs> I don't know. Being a young adult is interesting. And even just being an adult, because I've had conversations with other adults in my life who are going through similar things, just because things that they do in their life don't bring them together with friends or people that they want to be friends with, I guess. And so we're all kind of like in the same boat, or at least some of us are. Sometimes I just wish I could be anywhere at any moment. That way I could not have the waste of time of driving somewhere, or that way I could go visit a friend who lives a couple hours away, but it doesn't work that way. So, guess this is just another reminder to myself that I, I don't know, I mean, I've been working on being intentional, but I just need to keep doing that, right? Because you never, most things in life, you don't reach a point where you're done. It's like a constant growth, constant learning. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm human, I am constantly growing, constantly learning, and right now I am learning about intentionality, and and building strong friendships with the people that matter most to you, right? Because I don't need a bunch of friends. I would just like to have some close friends that we both are putting the time and the effort to really know each other and to be there for each other and to help each other through life. Hmm. Good talk. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend to talk to. You know, I could FaceTime someone. That's what, okay, I'm kind of weird because I use my phone a lot but at the same time I don't like using my phone or like technology and stuff so I'd much rather you know talk face to face rather than texting or a phone call or FaceTime but I really should utilize like FaceTiming and stuff more because it is a really good way to hang out with people when you can't be with them in person. When I'm filming this it's actually January 1st of 2022 so I guess in this new year one of my goals that I wrote down was to continue to like prioritize and be intentional with friendships and family as well so I think FaceTiming is something I might have to start doing more with family that lives farther away friends that live farther away or even just if it's been hard to hang out just say hey do you want to facetime while i'm i don't know cleaning my room i actually found these people on youtube i think the guy's name is amir and his girlfriend's name is 
Anna? I don't know, but they actually met through a mutual friend, but they met through Instagram DMs sometime in 2020 during like when COVID was like really hitting us. And he lives in Vancouver, I think, in Canada. And then she lives in Pennsylvania, I want to say. So he's like, you know, one side of Canada, she's on the other side of like down in the US though. So they didn't get to meet each other for like their first year of dating literally like they never touched with the person so they literally started their relationship off of texting and facetiming and i was watching their videos and they were talking about how they would facetime while they were cooking they would cook together or like even like when they're going to bed or doing homework or they would go out to a restaurant and facetime each other like they were on an actual like date and i was like wow they really put in the work and they made it work with facetiming so it was like they were in the same place even though they weren't so i guess just kind of making me think about how i need to be like them or take some knowledge from them hopefully this is helpful to you too you know my thoughts maybe you're having similar thoughts in your life or just similar things so i hope this is helpful <laughs> Ugh, why do my braids like go to go like that that's kind of weird girl i'm just like thinking over the past year and it's definitely been a good year i've done cool things grown a lot learned a lot, realized things about myself, like about other people or like relationships and whatnot. Because some relationships are healthy and some are not. And some people, you know, if they really just annoy you, don't hang out with them because that's not helping either of you. <laughs> sometimes you have to let people go because they're not the right person for you. But sometimes you also have to put yourself out there and get to know people because even if they're not like gonna be your BFF, it's still good to get to know people, especially if you're gonna be around them. <sighs> Ow, that actually hurt my head. I guess that's really all I have to say. Just want you to know how special you are and the worth that you have. And I hope you never forget that. And I hope that you're being reminded about that every day. Take some time to be present in your life, to be aware of what's happening, the good and the bad, and figure out, just figuring out how to figure it out. Thank you for listening to me talk while I'm trying to figure out whatever I'm trying to figure out. Have a great day. Make it a great day.